Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to the next episode of the Tranjan campaign. We're going to jump into episode two, Roman Repute. Domitian's successor was a good man, but a poor ruler. Nevertheless, he shared my loyalty to Rome and sought to reverse the damage that Domitian's folly had done. With no sons to pass the mantle to, Emperor Nerva named me as his heir before striding on into the afterlife after two short years on the throne. The immense honor of steering the might of Rome is matched only by the weight of its responsibility. I am a general, not a senator. My mind is built for the straightforwardness of the battlefield, not the intricacies of politics. I can and I must learn to be a politician, but in the meanwhile, I should play to my strengths. The divided Roman people need a common enemy, and I will give them that. North of the Danube lies Dacia, a barbarous kingdom, but one also rich in gold and silver. Its wily king, Decabalus, once played Domitian for a fool, negotiating an unfavorable treaty that tarnished Roman imperial repute. My loyal cousin, Hadrian, will join me on this campaign and learn from my example. I will unite the Roman people, take vengeance on a haughty foe, and enrich our struggling economy all in one fell swoop. I think Hadrian's Wall was all the way up in in Britain, so that's that, yeah. I, if if that's the same um, same Hadrian, I did not expect to be the emperor, or not to me be the emperor, but to have the the character that we're hearing the story from be the emperor of Rome when he started out as a general, or that by the second mission. That's pretty cool. Okay, main objective pretty straightforward: defeat Green. Uh, again, limited to 50. Many units, buildings, and technologies are unavailable to you. You must seize what you can from the enemy. Okay. Though your forces are divided from Hadrian's, you are codependent. Any resources that you loot will swell his stockpiles, and any technologies that he researches will improve your units. Interesting. Be swift and decisive in your attacks. Delay too long, and your enemies will overwhelm you with their superior numbers and supplies. Fair. The logistics technology halves the population cost of barracks units, allowing you to field double the number of swordsmen. It's a good hint. Uh, lead an army from into D Dacia. Excuse me, from the southwest. Trajan's confident, confident Hadrian purple attacks Dacia from the southeast with an army of infantry and mounted units. Several Dacian villagers, Grey, dot the countryside. They are rich in resources and supplies, but poorly defended. So we want to raid Grey. King Dicibalus of Dacia controls a fortress in the north. He initially con will con he will initially concentrate on Hadrian, but his infantry and archers will may turn towards Tranjan if Roman raids get out of hand. Interesting. The Dacian army, Orange, is scattered about the region, operating several small bases, defending local villages. The diverse force is numerous, but can be defeated in detail by decisive series of raids. Okay. Emperor, I will hold the line in the east, but you must rob the enemy's will to fight before I am overwhelmed. Keep our army supplied with loot, and my technicians will improve our weaponry. Okay, so we have a market, and that's about it. Look out! A Dacian ambush! Oh, that's nice. Rock it. Rock it. Oh, keep moving, keep moving. We got lots of raids over here. Yeah, catapults even up there. Okay. 
Let's do I that. have received my share of the loot. We will put it towards the war effort. Wow, there's a lot you can distract with a single scout. And there goes the scout. Okay. Abadagnus. It's probably good because we don't have that many troops in and of themselves. And we don't have any way of building more troops that I can see just yet. Okay, so we can go raid this um, supply pit here. Metalworking is wonderful. I don't know that we have the forces for that engagement. Up here we have barracks. Have my so share of the loot. this is probably the. Put it towards the war effort. The Probably mission the one tried to defeat go. me once before. Let us see if you are up to the task. So we can maybe get some more barracks units out. Let's see if we can lure the army away. Yep, there they go, the broke rank. We can get the swordsmen to engage on the axemen. And then the cavalry on the archers here. That will utilize the counters, and we'll walk the swordsmen in first, and then we'll jump on with our cavalry as well. No, we still lost one of our cavalry. We don't want, probably don't want to lose the other one, so we'll pull him back. We can use these buildings to train more soldiers. Just wondering how you're supposed to do this without training. The answer is you're not. Siege Workshop and Academy would be good. We got Stable and Archery Range up here. Here we have Navy and Stable and Archery Range. Okay. Let's go ahead and just get a whole bunch, take a second and grab a whole bunch of infantry. Let's see, do we want plus one range? Probably not right now. Probably okay without that. Um, probably want to come up and snag the stable. Well, I guess the stable's over here, too, so we might as well. We got three and a bunch. Over here, we got three and less. So maybe we'll run up over here and grab that horse. Abadagnus. As soon as this unit uh, training is complete. In fact, we could probably just go ahead and... It's probably enough. I hate to rush it, but I hate to sit back too long as well. Because if we sit back too long, it did give us a warning about being overwhelmed by enemy supplies. Optimally, we probably wouldn't fight under the, uh, the range of the tower. So let's try and not do that. We're going to go ahead and send seven guys back here. Reinforce. A few of you guys get rid of that guy. So there's that. We can use these buildings to train more soldiers. Grab a few more cavalry and a few more infantry. 
Then we'll snag this and that, and then we'll go up there. So that should be pretty quick here. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and even grab some... Well, do we want to... No, we don't have enough food to really make that. Well, I guess we can sell the wood. Go ahead and buy some food. Yeah, we can get some troops there, so that'll be better than nothing. That should be, since we lured all the troops up that way, that's going to make this... That's going to be an interesting uh, battle up here for that siege workshop and those barracks, but I think we can probably manage to grab that and be okay. Yeah, we'll definitely go ahead and snag this next. That'll be the easiest. Looks like Hadrian's doing pretty good over here. It's a good sign. Let's go ahead and engage. The river crossing is ours. Soon the Dacian fortress will be as well. We want to save that. You covet my gold, I see. But you shall never find it. You sure about that? We can use these buildings to train more soldiers. Logistics are the key to victory, Emperor. There we go. Why field five legions when we can field ten? Beautiful question. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try and lure these guys out. Yeah, we still lost our still lost our cavalry. Let's micro that back. Pull these guys back. And we are out of food. Oops, I was. Apparently, that's what I did. That's not what I intended to do. We can use these buildings to train more soldiers. Any chance I can these have some economy? We can send men to assist our allies. Ah, clever. I don't know that we need to do that right now, but I would love some food production. Mm. We don't really have any resources, so we're going to go ahead and keep moving. See, now we got to be kind of careful because we ended up luring so many troops up this way. Yep. Like that one right there. My men have made a major breakthrough with this new weaponry. We will crush Stacia. Ooh, Iron Age. Okay, so we have... What do we need? A little bit more food. Let's definitely get that going. I have received my share of the loot. We will put it towards the war effort. So, Romans are still the pillagers that they have always been. I will personally hew your throat with my blade. There, now we got their attention. Rook. I don't really want to engage hoplites with my cavalry. Rook. I have received my share of the loot. We will put it towards the war effort. 
Good. That's... Ooh, 1,400 food. Have a Can we make that a reasonable... Is it reasonable to get that upgrade? Probably. As soon as we get that upgrade, we move forward. That seems reasonable to me. Tower shield, nice. So we're better against Pierce. So we're going to want to dive in on that catapult. And then back off, I guess. Keep that group control four. Yeah, so we got a couple of big upgrades coming in here. And we should be good to start moving. Yeah, Purple did get pushed back across the river crossing, which is unfortunate, but he's got plenty to handle that for now. I can definitely see this being a lot harder on other difficulties. Uh, we're probably going to want that at some point. I don't know that we have the resources to pull off upgrading and adding hop lights in just yet. Let's see who we can pull over here now. Grab that catapult. Run back around over here. Rock you, cutting. There we go. Now we got a good engagement happening. They have lost a few more of our our uh, units than we absolutely needed to, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and grab a couple of stone throwers. We can use these buildings to train more soldiers. I have ignored the Western Front for too long. Prepare to face my wrath, Trajan. Eh. Rather not. Rather not have to face it, but we'll have. This guy make a couple of those. Okay, so we want our our cavalry in the back. So we got some fishing ships for some consistent income. Control five. All those guys control two. We got our catapults on five. Our ballistas on four. Okay, so five can start throwing at the gate. We'll have our archers start taking the, taking some shots. Have cavalry go and engage the archers. Pull the cavalry back. The enemy is at our gates. Hold the fortress with your lives and cover my retreat. How very kingly of you. Pretty well got this in the bag. 
probably can take our barracks and reinforce inside here. I can see having to choose how to split your military could make this a lot more difficult. Let's not randomly lose. We, okay, we randomly lost. It's fine. Have our catapults keep moving. Tagging the, uh, the different town centers. No, 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 no. Get him out of there. We still have... We lost both the catapults. Okay. That's not great, but that's okay. Okay, so we'll engage over there. Send some to engage over here. We can overwhelm their their heavy infantry with our um just with numbers. There we go. The Kabbalist is nowhere there. There we go. But we have captured his sister in this fortress. Now he will surely surrender. between Dacia and Rome was the story of one man's panic and another's bluff. As Decapolis saw my legions thrust into his realm and capture his sister, he must have feared that the end was near. Yet my imperious tone and stern demands during the negotiations were a mere facade. With only a few legions on the front, I knew in my heart that I lacked the strength to overthrow Decabalus today. But he did not. For now, the con man has been beaten at his own game. But I know better than to trust a cornered wolf. As we march home after a draining campaign, I have tasked my best architects with building a bridge across the Danube into Dacia. If the Cabalus shows even a hint of treachery, my legions will now have a direct route to his front door. The power of civil engineering. Well, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day and you remember to keep smiling.